Well, hey everybody, and welcome back to Kiki's Kitchen. Um, I hope this Friday afternoon finds you well. I am going, I'm in a little bit of a creating mood today. So today, you know, I got on a, a scone kick. Remember my scone kick? And I always threatened, but never did, do a savory scone. So I just, so I made some awesome, and I did tweak that recipe a little bit, so I'm gonna have to share that one with you. But I made some awesome strawberry blueberries, one, blueberry, strawberry blueberry scones the other day. And so it's got me back in my scone mood. So I'm going to follow through and make that savory one for you right now. Um, and this is a test. So again, you may never see this video, but if it's good, I'll share it with you for sure. Because I'm just, I am just experimenting this afternoon. So what I'm using, and I want to make sure you see that it is self-rising flour. Now, um, you know, there are people who will tell you that you can make self-rising flour by adding, uh, you know, baking powder, salt, and, or baking soda, salt, and whatever, to regular flour. Um, and, yeah, but it does not give you the same end product. It just really doesn't. So, um, <clears throat> um, so just buy it so far. You can get the little ones. They're two bucks. You know, they're not expensive um, to get, you know, just a small one to, to make a recipe, make a batch. So, um, <clears throat> as I always tell you, mound it up, tap it off, and then level it off. And I, I don't have a big wide mouth one for my self-rising so I'm doing it over a plate so that if my extra I will just fold this plate up and put it back in my bowl so that's one and then um a half so I am and that's kind of where we're going to start sometimes if your dough's too wet you'll need to add um, you know, you'll need to add a little bit more flour to it or to the rolling surface or whatever but we're going to start because like I said we're experimenting so here is my half, and in it goes. To that, so now we've got a cup and a half of self-rising flour. I have three quarters of a cup of heavy cream. And that is kind of the basic, that's my biscuit right there, period, end of story. That's when I stop for biscuits. I'm gonna get a spoon. And I'm going to mix that together. I'll get in with my hands in a minute. But for the moment, I'm just mixing this together. Until my flour is kind of incorporated. I don't want. <clears throat> to this. I have, and like I said, I'm going to make a savory one. What I do, just as a little, it's just a me thing, is when I go to the grocery store and I'm messing up my kitchen, um, I buy um, hamburger and sausage and all that kind of stuff. And I like to fry the combination, ground beef and Italian sausage. I like to fry it off and I keep it in here. And um, so I will fry it off, drain it, freeze, and fill it up and freeze it. I have at least one of these in my freezer at all times. I can take it out, thaw it, and make a bunch of stuff. That can be topping on a, a quick, easy pizza. That can be part of a egg meal. That can be part of a lot of different things. So I always have that. So I happen to have this cooked sausage and hamburger. Putting that in. And that was a cup. Like I said, I might have to add more, but we're experimenting. And then I want to add a measuring for you. You know I don't always do that. This is triple cheddar cheese. Oops. And I'm going with roughly a cup. And I don't know if you've tried this before. This is from Aldi triple cheddar and it's got Wisconsin, New York, and Vermont Sharp. It's really good. Um, and then I have scallion onions that I've, I've cut up. 
we're going all the way with this one. So I'm gonna kinda, now I think I'm gonna have to get in there with my hands. However, I'm, I actually, I wanna try to mix this in a little bit with my spoon because I have some spices. And once my hands get to be a mess then, so let's, so you can see what it looks like. Still kind of a doughy thing. I am putting in a few shakes of granulated garlic. I mean, that might be a quarter of a, of a teaspoon. Uh, a little salt, a little pepper, maybe a half teaspoon of each, and a little oregano. If we're going savory, we're going all the way. Again, like about a half teaspoon. So I would say probably a quarter teaspoon of the garlic and then a half teaspoon of the salt and pepper. I will write this down once I think it's really good. Once it's good enough for you. Okay, so I'm going to now get in there with my hands. But before I even do that, I am going to get my... Hang on one second. Hang on. I need to get organized. Hang on. Okay. Now we're ready. So what we have in here is we have our self-rising flour and heavy cream. To that, we added a cup of cooked ground. I have sausage and hamburger. You can put all sausage in there, all hamburger. You can put pepperoni in there. Um, and I have scallion onions diced up and I have a cup of triple cheddar cheese. So... I, I seasoned it with a little garlic, salt, pepper, and oregano. Now I'm going in with my hand because I have my mat out and I put a little bit of um, flour out on my mat because we're gonna, I'm not gonna roll it, but we're gonna press it like we would lay it out for a biscuit. So, because this is exactly how I make my biscuits. But what the question was, was do I, will I need more milk? And I might. Because, like I said, so what I want to do, though, is I really want to work this, um, all these ingredients into my dough. Which is kind of incorporating pretty good. We have no idea. This is how new things are made. And it, it smells really good. Doesn't look like it's going to need anything so far. I have a, um, my cookie sheet over here with parchment paper on it. I have the oven preheating at 450. Now, I cook my biscuits at 500 because I like the high heat. I think we're good. I like the high heat. It makes them, it makes them rise quick. So I've got it at 450. We'll see. This is all a test, right? So now I'm going to push this down, flip it. So this is adding a little bit more, um, adding a little bit more flour to it. Who knows, this could be really, really, really good. So all I'm doing is making a disc out of this, y'all. Holding together nicely. What you wanna do is you wanna go back in here, shore up the sides. By that I mean put your, you know, uh, you know, you don't want ragged sides. You want it to be disc-like. See that? That's kind of raggedy. Push it in. So now I have a disc. For sure. It's holding together. So I'm going to take my pastry cutter or a knife, whatever you have. I'm going to cut it this way. And then this way. So I'm cutting, uh, cutting it into eight. Put it on my cookie sheet. I'm going to space them because they do spread out. I can't wait till these come out. I really do hope it's a good recipe. So again, in the middle. And then. Because they sure smell good. This would be good with a salad. Um, 
for certain. It would be good with a salad or um, a bowl of chili. About anything I'm thinking. Or as an hors d'oeuvre, right? So, all right, so here we go. Hang on one second, because I want to do an egg wash, because that just makes them pretty. So hang on, I gotta get, I gotta get myself cleaned up. Okay, I have cracked an egg, and all I have in here is just egg with um, a little uh, splash of cold water, beaten egg, and I'm just painting all the sides and the everywhere, all my little surfaces. Almost, bear with me a second. You know, on my regular scones, or on my sweet scones, I always top them with some kind of an icing sugar. Um, but I really can't think of a spice I want to put on top of here. Unless I put, you know, some extra cheese. Extra cheese never hurt anything, right? All right, I got these before I turned the camera on, but let's try them a little bit more. All right, that looks good. All right, so I've got the oven on. I'm putting them in the oven. And they're going to be in there for about 15 to 18 minutes, and I'll be back to you. Out of the oven and gorgeous. Simply gorgeous. So... We're gonna have to taste test them. The things I do for you guys. Actually, I'm gonna take one off of here and let my husband have the rest of it. He just walked in and, and was going. So, let's see. We'll find out if, I'm, if I share this video with you or not. And you know what? A dipping sauce of marinara would probably be good. Mmm. Delicious. Mm-hmm. You'll like these. So good. Great breakfast treat. Really great breakfast treat. It's kind of like a loaded biscuit. You know, scones are just southern sweet biscuits. <laughs> so anyway, I will be posting this because you will be liking this. Bye.